Couple of sources saying that you were the one leading the Institute attack on the Pridwin. So, you want to tell me why you did it? Why you sided with those boogeymen? Uh, sarcasm? What? I figured you'd be happy seeing your old friends come out on top. I guess I'll add it to the growing list of things you've got wrong. Taking down the Brotherhood? The Railroad? All yeah. those lives lost. For what? So a group of mad scientists can keep plundering the Commonwealth to their heart's content? Is that truly the world you want to live in? <sighs> Don't know, is this personal? This seems like it's personal, Nick. I ain't thrilled to see the folks who gave me the boot coming out on top. But this... This is bigger than that. You know, since the first time we met, I'd always got the sense that you were gonna change this place. I just never expected it'd be like this. Yeah, mistakes were made. Welcome to Pool Up 4. That was left of the future. We made some mistakes. I tried to get the Institute to the people of the Commonwealth, but the Institute ended up winning, which is a little bit my fault. Hey, Nicky. Nick. Time to hit the road? You up? You really up, up for traveling? You interested in traveling together? With you, I wouldn't miss it for the world. Okay, let's go. Let's head out. Well, all right. All righty then. Why should I send Curry to? Uh, yeah, to here basically. We're heading off to Far Harbor. The detective's bad life isn't an easy one. But it rarely lacks for excitement. I feel a bit bad now I've been chewed out by Nick. Yeah. I tried to I tried to do what, what I thought was best, but the game didn't let me do it. I had to take out the railroad because the game got stuck on quest line. And the only thing I could do was actually to move things forward was to take out the leader of the uh, the railroad. That I regret, but I had no choice. It's either that or just say, hey, the game's over. We can't go on from here unless we want to do some bad stuff. I wouldn't swap my no, it's a bit radiated. Yeah. I hope, I, I was trying to give the Institute to the Commonwealth, as in, I thought if I became the leader of the Institute, I could turn everybody around and say, hey, why don't we just open it up to the Commonwealth, invite everybody from the Commonwealth to come here and live happily ever after. Why not? You've, you've become the leader. We've been followed. Somebody around here. Yeah. But it didn't turn out like that way. And it was bad. And now Nick is not too happy with me. But we're going to go to Far Harbour. We talked to old Longfellow. If we can get past this. So I'm going to meet you there. I don't think there's anything here that we haven't done already. Yeah. Yeah, same, something around here, but I think, I think we'll be alright. I've got a long way to go. Tipperary, it's a long way to go. But I'll meet you there through the power of editing. <sighs> Back here at Bar Harbour. Been a long time. Came here by accident a while back while doing a squire mission for the Brotherhood of Steel. Don't ask what happened to the Brotherhood of Steel. I wasn't involved in that, honest. They had it coming. Screw them. They were assholes. But now we're back here. We're going to talk to Longfellow. Old man Longfellow. That's the quest we're going to do. I feel a lot stronger now, character-wise, than when I was originally here. I was out of my depth last time. But how strong I am. Am I strong enough for this? I do not know. I feel like I could be a bit stronger. So I'm a bit worried about this. Now where is this guy? Oh, I was in here. I must get myself some sleep as well, save the game. 
Been a long way to Tipperary. A lot's happened on the way, hasn't it, Nick? Yes, it is. How are we doing, actually? Heads up. See what I All you gotta do is ask. Your what are your thoughts? thoughts? Not this rate, we're gonna have to put your name up on signs for the agency. Really? I thought Nothing you hated me. Now. All right. You guys are psycho. Hey, dude. Ooh, what are you reading there? Islands? Yes. Oh, wow. POI map. Oh, wow. Jesus. Awesome. Captain Avery says you can get me to Acadia. Heard there was a scuffle out there. You get your hands dirty? <laughs> I'm done leading people to their deaths in the fog. Last fella couldn't no. keep up. Didn't last five minutes. Can you tell me about Acadia? Strange folk like there. Call themselves synths. Seems to me they just want to be left alone. To live their life in peace. They've done some good turns for us islanders. The fog condensers, most especially. Wouldn't even be a far harbor left without those. Well, What's a fog condenser? The condensers are a tricky bit of science. They keep the fog away. Powered by the wind farm, the synth fellas got up and running. Us islanders don't particularly like being obligated to them. But there you have it. Am I looking for a runaway? God, I can't remember. Some parents are worried about their runaway daughter. She went to Acadia, and I need to find her. If someone's headed for Acadia, there's always a story. Yours worth dying over, huh? Eh. Yeah, you should give a damn. This girl's all her family has. <laughs> You'd have to be a real wretch not to give a damn. Bah. This goes against all reason. But I can get you to Acadia. But you've got to listen to me. Go where I say, when I say it. Still won't be easy. You stock up on your necessities, Rad X and the like, and then the real work can begin. Yeah, I need some time. I need to take care of a few things. Handle your necessities, then off of them. Okay, I need to get some sleep, and I need to see if I can buy some ammo somewhere. Booze I did. for the belly or bunk for the night? Bunk for the night, please. I like to run a room. It's up the stairs. Awesome. Uh, Only ten caps. Drown your worries and cheap fools. <laughs> Tell me all. <laughs> okay, let's get some good sleep. It's time to come back to me now. Yeah, because a kid ran away to Far Harbor. Ages ago. Yeah, it's all starting to come back to me now. Cause it's been a long, so long time since we've been here. Yeah, we're just tracking down this kid. He ran too far away to Far Harbor. You okay. Look like you need a nice cold vim. Let's see if we can find somewhere to buy some ammo. You don't like the service, there's the door. <laughs> right. Anybody selling there, I think. Are you selling How can the bait shop help you? What Let's do you deal. Got? Happily. Hello, you have got ammo. Ammo. 44s, I'll take the 44s. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll take some of that. 45 slash 70 caliber? The new one on me. Okay, can I sell you something? I don't know, I have to sell you some jet. Red X. Another vulture circling over Andre's body? He ain't dead. No. <laughs> it's a mainland. Welcome to my little clinic. If you need doctoring, yes. speak up. I, I wish I had time for some proper conversation, but my work's never done. Who's Andre? Who's Andre? Poor Andre is my patient over there. He spent too long a spell in the fog. We 
You may think you know your mainland radiation poisoning, but we got our own special brand here. Oh, God. Really? I know a few mm. things about medicine. Can I try to help him? You say, what? You? Help? Well, poor Andre's got it bad. Good as dead. Huh. Well, I suppose there's no harm letting you have a poke. But I'll be watching you. Seriously? Can I just poke him? Let's take a look. Hmm. 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 Provides a treatment. Well, I'll be. I think you may have done. I'll keep looking at <laughs> Andre, but I think thanks to you, he's got a fighting chance. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you hey, have any uh, need some doctors? Bullets. Uh, Let me see what you're selling. Bullets, bullets on you. Oh yeah. Trade. He does have some bullets. No, basically. All your hey, Andre. <laughs> sound all that cute to me. Can I take your stuff? No. I you know need... what I'm feeling down. A little commerce always cheers me up. Who was that? Alan and die. That's not you. Somebody Welcome said built by my guns, don't they? Yeah. Excuse me. What time is it? 7.30 in the morning. God, it's dingy this place, isn't it? Ah. Hello. Your loved ones with my fine hand yeah, where was this guy? Is this? Are you Alan? Huh? There you go. Alan. Huh. The mainland. Better. Great. Fire your gun a few times and you think you're some sort of hero? This is our fight. Our island. Huh. Not yours. Yeah, but yours. Oh. Don't you want a helping hand? Hell no. Once you start leaning on people, soon you can't walk no good on your own. What happens next time when you wait here, huh? For the next. Either us harbormen survive on our own terms. We take the long walk together. So if you're here to buy some ordnance, do your business. Otherwise, take the first boat out of here. Before the children of Adam or worse get you. Okay. Let's see what Show we got. me what you got. You got it. Do you have any point five O's? I need point five O's. Yes, you do. You have a nice load of them. I need any shotgun shells. Oh, yeah, let's buy it anyway. We can afford it. Awesome, job done. Uh, yeah, let's go back to talk. Yeah, we know the children are bad. We've run into them before. 78. Bullets. Hi, babe. Well, can you find it? This is Dalton. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. Mm -hmm. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blood, and vengeance. That's interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy. Took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since. Killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, 
The last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. What are you talking about? You mean me? Are you saying that I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family? Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you. Because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a <clears throat> sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there. Waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame yet. Ah, uh, you went to just kill Kill the ghouls. Did I already kill them? I might have already killed them. I already wiped out those ghouls. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers oh, paid yeah, for what I? they did to Petey. It's only right you get paid for your troubles. Here's 200 caps for you. Hey, give me more than that. I deserve more than that. I suppose I could part with a little more. <laughs> Here's another hundred caps. I've been thinking about what's next, and then it came to me. We all huh? love our grandparents, don't we? Kind, gentle, doting, love to spoil you. You'd never want something awful to happen to them. Nobody would. That's why it broke my heart when I lost Grandpa George. Oh, my sympathies. I'm sorry. You must have been very fond of me. Everybody was. But that didn't matter to the island. Oh, no. He was cursed the moment he was born adult. He had a farm a little ways north of here. Lived a peaceful life. Working the land and not causing anyone trouble. The island sent something after him. A huge monster. Mean as spit and with claws to snap steel beams. A fog crawler. Grandpa bravely stood his ground. A shotgun in his hands, holding off that terror while the farmhands fled back here. If you can take out that shell-backed devil, it'll send a message loud and clear that says the Daltons never forget when they've been wronged. Hey, yeah, why not? That fog crawler's gonna pay for Grandpa George. That's the spirit. Okay. Fog crawler, that sounds pretty nasty. Boiling this thing alive? Boiling it alive, I think. Anyway. Anyway, we were talking to Longfellow, weren't we? Yeah. Okay, dude, what's up? We're going. Hey. You ready to head to Acadia? Not really. Well, let's go, Longfellow. Follow me. This is going to be bad. This is going to be bad, isn't it? I think this is going to be like a... Wait for me! Acadia is above the fog. It's a bit of a hike. You might want to take this road. Taste foul and sin. But it will help. We need to move through. Well, look, jerky added. Can't hear you, dude. Fog ain't like nothing you've seen. Think a dose of Radaway is all you need. <laughs> oh, let's try that stuff he's given us. Where was that? What's it called? Murloc jerky. Poison resistance. See the if I die, I'm gonna kill you. Get you
Oh, okay, he wasn't so bad. You ain't so bad. Now you're dead. Yeah, I think that'd be... Nice shot if I do say so myself. Right in the face. Nick just picked something up. I forgot he did that. Yeah, what's this? I'll take that. Ah. Somebody shoot at me. Ow, ow, ow! Where are you? Are they up there? You sneaky sons of bitches. There you are. There you go, have this. <laughs> he ain't gonna be whistling Dixie anymore. Okay, long fella, which oh there you are. Okay. Now, what happened to the dude in here? I shot somebody here, didn't I? We're finding 50 calibers. This is good, this is good, this is a good sign. I'm loving this sign. Hey, wait for me, dude. Can you can you sneak? No, you're gonna have to run in. Safe there. Hmm. Money, money, money. Oh. Go away, let me learn. Don't get too cocky. Breaking out of sneak mode. This better be worth it. There we go. Yes. Nothing. Yeah, well. Come along, fellas, let's get out of here. Here's the mountain trail. We stick to this and we'll make it to Acadia. You like them puppies? <laughs> we grow everything extra mean on the island. <sighs> Still got a ways to go. Oh, oh, dog alert. It's a wolf. I can have that. I do want to... I shot in the ass, I think. What was that? Bit of wolf meat. Nothing. Come on, Nick. Let's go. Oh, we went down there. We have to run like this. I mean, yeah, I suppose we do, don't we? Means getting a bit pixely. When I was a young lad, no higher than the whole island was covered in fog. The fog eventually rolled back. People resettled. But they got comfortable uh -huh. started taking things for granted. Folk got short memories. All this has happened before. It will happen again. Um, Battlestar Galactica reference there. There you go. Why? It's going to be a bit pixely when he goes into the fog. 
It's not gonna blow up. We ain't alone. Got you. Holy shit. Hi guys, a night party as well. Everybody dead. Good. Oh. Loads of meat, but we we uh, used up a lot of bullets on that one. Go put in it. Can I eat that? Apparently so. <laughs> it doesn't sound nice, does it? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, Nick, you moved it. I picked up something I didn't want. It. What is this? Let's go. Where's Long Dude? Long Dude, let's move. What are you hiding in the trees for? Turkey. Turkey, you know that. I think I've got to sneeze. <coughs> hey, does so anybody um, mind if I shoot this ghoul here? Huh? Okay, cool. Here we go. Here he is. His arm off. That's fine. Are we still under. Yeah, we're under attack. You hide it by radiation barrels, you idiot. Fucking idiot. I hear him. I hear him. I'm up, but literally. Come on, dude. Put your back into it and run, run, run. I don't know what's going to happen. So we get that, I'm going to get killed, aren't I? With all this, it's going to be like, oh, fuck. Worshipping lunatic, that's what. Your barbs do not harm me. I am shielded by my faith. How about bullets? Faith shield you against those two? Let's yeah, come down to settle down, okay? You're right, waste of ammo. Do not sully this one with your blasphemy, old man. You, I suggest you go no further. Acadia is a nest of snakes. Beasts that Ooh. subvert the will of Adam. Acadia do. What's Acadia done to make you distrust them? They supply Far Harbor with the means to turn back Adam's holy fog. You'd do well to avoid such creatures, and instead seek the only true master of this land. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever you say. Watch yourself, outsider. You walk through Adam's kingdom now. If you're done wasting time with a fanatic, let's move on. Is this guy going all 1980s pixel-y? <laughs> Super Mario games. Clean. No fog. The gate is not too awesome. far now. It's my finger. Oh, don't like Look at this. I'm just gonna run in. This is a good idea. Dude. Is there nothing? Are we cool here? And I guess we're cool. Right. Acadia's already been. Mm -hmm. They'll be waiting for you. You need my help again. You come see me. Got a cabin just outside of Far Harbor. Good place to tool up your gear, get some rest, or get stinking drunk. <laughs> Just make sure if you're bringing a bottle of something strong, there's enough to share. 
Okay. What happens next? Leaving already? Don't you want to see what happens next? You saying you want me to stick around and watch your back? Nah, I got Nick I with can me. handle things from here. Good luck in there. And I'm serious about the offer. You ever want to hunt the forests and waters of the island together? I could think of worse things to do. I could take. I wonder if I could take. Yeah, where's he gone? Longfellow back to the Commonwealth. Okay, so. Ah, uh, although it does sound a bit of a, like a money old git. Let's talk to the leader here. Help Captain Avery. I'm walking into a trap here. You know, when I first climbed this mountain above the fog, I thought to myself, now here is a metaphor worth taking in. You've entered a place of clarity, understanding, peace. While you're here in Acadia, Synthkind welcomes you as long as you welcome us. Uh, yes. Well, okay. in that case, I want a Nuka Cola, some stim packs, Kasumi Nakano returned to her family, and hmm, a pony. <laughs> I see. I'm afraid some of those things I'm not in a position to give. Kasumi is oh, here. No pony. She's safe and unharmed. And you're free to see her if you'd like. Before you do, though, tell me. Do you think Kasumi is a synth? We're not answering any more questions until you play straight with us. Just who the hell are you, really? There's only one synth with that kind of face and a mind of his own. And I only see him when I look in a mirror. Nick? It... It can't be you. Don't give me that. What are you trying to pull? Oh, I've never seen you before in my life. Please, if you're willing to give me a chance, I can explain. Hey, Nick. Is this a joke? Do you really know Nick? Let me tell you what I know, and you can judge for yourself. We were prototypes, Nick. The first synths capable of independent thinking and judgment. Keep talking. One of the Institute's experiments had to do with how our brains could process personality. If we could handle individualized feelings and behaviors, I was allowed to develop mine based on experience. But with you, they wanted to try transferring an entire personality into you. It took several attempts before the personality imprint worked. I saw you wake up not knowing who or what you were so many times. I couldn't let them do it to you anymore. We were the only two prototypes they made. I literally saw myself in you. You were my brother, Nick. I helped you escape the Institute. We left together. If I were your brother, I'd remember. That's where you'd be wrong. This happened over a century ago. There's... There's only so much memory that can fit into the prototype brains we have. Ah, I've heard enough. I think you and I need to talk about this. Maybe not now, though. Hmm. You really don't remember? Is it really possible that... You wouldn't remember any of this? You mean between the Institute fail-safes, the beatings I've taken over the years, and plain old age? Or are you buying this hole? There's only so much room of their argument. I don't know. It's not like we've got the instruction manual. Good point. So what happened to K Kazimi? We need to get back to why we're here. Kasumi Nakano. Nick, I don't need you to believe me. I'm just glad to see you again. Whenever you're ready, I'll be here. Now, about young Kasumi. Yeah. It's important that you understand exactly why she's here. I asked you before if you think she's really a sin. If you could 
Indulge me with an answer. Yeah, why? Why are you asking? Because she came here with that very question. And the answer changes every part of her world. None of us take this transition lightly. She's facing the possibility of her entire life being a lie. That someone stripped her very identity from her and made her into something she isn't. I want you to understand that before you see her. She has a chance here to live as a synth, not hiding, not pretending to be something else. One more question, if you'll indulge me. You're here for Kasumi, but I suspect there could be another reason you came to us. Tell me, are you a synth? Yeah, cause I No, but if I squint real hard in the mirror, sometimes I look like someone else. <laughs> I'm afraid when I try that trick, nothing really changes. I know it might seem impossible that you could be a synth, but tell me, what's the first thing you can remember? Uh... First thing I remember? A family? I was with my wife. We were getting ready for the day. Long time ago. I had to take care of my boy, Sean. And, uh... <laughs> well, a lot's happened since then. But no memories before then? No childhood? Your first best friend? Your first... kiss? That's usually a sign. Data is easy to migrate, but feelings... That's a hard thing to transfer into another mind. Isn't it funny how a memory can feel like a whole different reality? People, places, even sounds and colors can change. Or someone else has changed them. I won't lie to you. There will always be other explanations. Trauma, disease, the background radiation. They all take their toll on the mind. But I can promise you that you will be accepted here. Whatever you decide is true for yourself. Is he really a synth? Anyway, where's Kasumi? I've heard enough. Where's Kasumi Nakano? Of course. Kasumi is usually working down below. You can see her whenever you like. Acadia is open to you. Feel free Ooh, to free. walk the grounds. Introduce yourself to my co-founders, Faraday and Chase. Did you need anything else before you go? Got any hook? Shall I tell you about the Institute? Yeah. Now, I'm just gonna tell you right now, Beamer. I'm in the Institute. That's quite an admission to make. I'm used to the Institute striking from the shadows. I'll say this to you. Oh. I'm not your enemy. I only wish to live here, in peace, with my people. As a scientist, can you not see the value of independent synth life? You have a chance here to witness how wondrous that could be. All you have to do is do nothing. Don't tell your fellow researchers about us. Don't tell them we're here. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I won't. Fine. I'll keep your secrets for now. Thank you. Now, was there anything else I can do for you? Yeah, my pony. What's your story? Who are you? What's your story? I came to this island over a century ago hiding from my creators, the Institute. But after my escape felt secured, I was left with nothing. No program task, no false memories. I spent a year just sitting in a cave, just sitting. One day, it finally occurred that maybe I could decide for myself what to do, who I was, 
I've been doing that ever since. Was there anything else? Yeah, my pony. So everybody here is synth. So everyone here in Acadia is a synth? Yes. Either they were escapees we managed to find before the Institute could, or they were victims of a mind wipe, and we revealed the truth to them. In Acadia? Tell me more about this place, Acadia. All I want is to bring as many synths here as I can, and give them a chance to know what they really are. To embrace it. Beyond that, we just want to live in peace. I don't have any grand plans for expansion. Just existing as we are now is enough. Was there anything else? Nah, I should done. get going. Of course. Perhaps you were in there a long time. Are you feeling all right? I'm fine. Do you worry too much? Sometimes I feel like you don't worry enough. You know we blew three more relays this week. I'm coming in. You stay right there. What? Okay. I was having a hard enough time You're keeping weird. up with repairs before all this nonsense oh, with these atom lunatics. They're nothing you need to be concerned about. It's not them. I'm concerned about you, Dima. You can't solve all the world's problems. Certainly not all at once. Dearest Faraday, relax. All will be fine. So, you've talked to Dima. You know why we're here. And I certainly hope that uh -huh. you'll consider helping us. Dima's vision is worth fighting yeah. for. Yeah. You're right. Okay. It is a good cause. Since definitely deserve to be safe, just like everyone else. It's so good to hear that. Very encouraging. Please, make sure Dima knows that as well. He's put so much of himself into this. All his time and energy devoted to helping others. He never stops to think of himself. Sometimes I worry about... Well, if I wasn't here to make sure his equipment is all functional. And that's not even mentioning maintaining the fog yes, condensers. So many things to keep track of. Right. Right? Is, right? Wouldn't want him blowing a fuse. Huh? Uh, no, not really. Uh, okay, can I help you out? If there's you? anything I can do to help out, just let me know. Well, if you're determined to help, there is something you could do. It's likely somewhat dangerous, though, so I understand if you'd rather not. There's a boat along the okay. coast of the island. It was transporting some hardware we needed. Storage drives. The boat never finished the trip, you see. So the drives are still out there. I could really use them here for extra parts, if nothing else. My understanding is that the okay. boat wrecked southwest of here. So, does this sound like something you could handle? What happened? What happened to the boat? Why didn't it make it? I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Trappers, fog crawlers, there's no end to what's out there. And what might still be out there. But the point is that we already lost someone once. And I don't want to see that happen again. So, are you up for it? You gonna pay me? Yeah, I got sure you. thing, Faraday. I'll get the drives for you. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. Awesome. I'm not gonna report these people to the Institute because I'm not really working for the Institute. I own it, but you track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps. Who are you? You're Corsa. <clears throat> you track Kasumi here. I'm impressed. Perhaps not as quietly or efficiently as possible. But thankfully, she was never in any real danger. I'm afraid your journey was unnecessary. And miss out on a fun boat ride? Never. Well, That's then great. at least you have the return trip to look forward to. Acadia is a safe haven for synths. Were it not, I would not have aided anyone in reaching it. Every synth I've tracked down, every synth convinced to come here, has been assured that he or she will come to no harm. My job is to make sure they all remain safe, no matter what. Understand? Hey. Where'd you find them? How do you manage to track down synths and bring them here? I have a network of contacts throughout the area. Some from my time with the Institute, 
some after. I know the Institute's tactics, and use that to my advantage. You have Dima's blessing, so by all means, make yourself comfortable. Yeah, okay. Uh, what's your story? So, what's your story? I used to be a courser, returning synths that had escaped from the Institute. I was tracking a synth and instead found Dima. He convinced me of the truth and the error of my ways. I rejected the Institute, made sure they couldn't track me, and dedicated my life to instead helping synths find freedom. Cool. And what a hand. I'd like to help you all. Is there anything I can do? Actually, as a matter of fact, there is. If you're serious about contributing, well, Don't we've got a situation I need someone to look into. You've had some experience traveling around the island, so you may be decently equipped hey. to handle it. Mm, kind of depends on the job, All but right. okay. I'm listening. We were expecting a new synth to arrive, and he should have been here by now. There's been no sign of him, dead. and I'm concerned that he might have become lost on the way here. Hey, but dead. This island is a death trap. Your synth probably ended up as Meyer alert food. I certainly hope not, but I'd like to know for certain. You should start by talking to Brooks in Far Harbor. He's one of us, uh, okay. a synth. He's the one who meets the new arrivals and gets them started on the journey here. Of course, he's not likely to tell you anything without proof that you're working for me. If he doesn't cooperate, tell him that his designation is L-792. That should convince him. That's as much help as I can give you for now. Please, hurry. If that synth is out there alone, he won't last long. Is everybody a synth? Am I? Even I could be a synth. Okay, where's this Kasumi person? Is she down here? Let's get some food in us. Uh, we don't want that. There we go. Yum, 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 yum. Ella? I don't I assume you're not planning on staying long. Charming. Acadia may not look like much from the outside, but it's all some of us have got. It That's great. Okay, just could jump down here. Surprise! <laughs> Kasumi Nakano? Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. What are you working, you're working on? Just trying to cobble some pre-war junk into something usable. Now, do you mind telling me what you're doing here? Yeah, your parents sent me. Parents sent me. They want you to come home. They... They did what? You came all this way... For me. You left without telling your folks why. You must have known they'd be worried. Look, my mom and dad... Uh, I mean, those people that were taking care of me, they wouldn't want me back. Not if they knew the truth. <sighs> because you're a synth. Because you're not really their daughter. You're a synth. Yeah. Exactly. I thought if I just left, it would be easier for them. How would that conversation have gone anyway? I've been lying to you this whole time. Your real daughter is dead and I replaced her? <sighs> yeah, might not go that well. Yeah, sure you're not a replacement. You haven't replaced anyone. Kenji and Ray are still your parents. I... I really wish that was true. Oh. If I wasn't a synth, things would be so much simpler. Acadia isn't what I thought it was. There's more going on here than just the refuge. But I can't leave until I've gotten to the bottom of it. I've been running long enough. Okay. If something's oh, going on, then I can help. Yeah. Just tell me what's happening. I don't know how you could. Wait. Wait, of course you can help. You find things, track down answers. That's what you do, right? That's why you came no. after me. What if I told you that there's a secret? A big secret, secret here, on this island. Something way more important than just one lost girl. Old. Sister, there's a lot of things on this island more important than you. If you could just hold the jokes for a second. You saw all those computers that Dima's hooked up to, right? They hold his memories, or offload data from his brain. Or maybe some combination of both? Well. Faraday asked me to help do some repairs on them, and, you know, 
I got curious. There's like a century's worth of life experiences in there. And that's when I see it. Data models Dima has been making. One was the fog taking over Far Harbor. Another was a nuclear detonation on the island. Plus, death counts. What if Dima is so open and welcoming because he's actually hiding something from us? A plan to wipe out the rest of the island. We should get to the bottom uh. of this. If Dima is what? putting on an act, we need to know. I oh, can't help it. Personally, Sarcasm. I find calculated mass murder to be very soothing. Look, help me out, and if I'm wrong, you can make all the jokes you want. Now, I've tried doing some digging on my own, but I haven't had much luck. I keep seeing Dima, Faraday, and Chase head into the laboratory at the other end of the hall. Then they come out later looking like they've been arguing. There's actually a storage space right next to there. It'd be a perfect spot to hide an eavesdrop, but it's been locked up. I've also tried breaking into Faraday's terminal, since he and Dima are so close, but the security on it is crazy. I'll be able to hack that. Step aside and let the master hacker show you how it's done. If you're sure, good luck. Once you have something, let me know. From one case to a new one, it's never easy for us, is it? Never is. Okay. I swear someone has the key to that storage room. Maybe Cog? He's always moving supplies around as they come in. Huh? Hey, I gotta try and find somewhere to sleep. Because we've done a lot. And can I sleep here? Sandman kill. <laughs> Just turn up and kill people. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get some sleep here. And next week we'll continue finding out what's going on here. Is it something frightening from this? Oh, just rags. Anyway, until next week, I should be due adieu. Adios.